Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under JavaScript for beginners especially the jQuery part so in the previous couple of videos of this tutorial series we've been going through fundamentals of jQuery and we've seen a lot of things like selectors in jQuery we've seen some effects in jQuery and now we are going to be moving to jQuery DOM manipulations so just like how we were manipulating DOM objects that is the html elements in plain javascript we can also do that in jquery and of course we are going to be doing it by inbuilt functions and inbuilt methods which are provided in jquery so that's the entire trend that's going on currently in the jquery tutorials that we are using some inbuilt methods which are pre provided by us by the jquery library and that makes things very easy okay so as you can see on the screen i have a little bit of code already written this is our body we have a heading tag we have a button which is named as action then we have a division with id div1 and class my divs so this class gives it this border and this green color so if you go to the css you can see the border is given to pixel blue and then we have a color of dark cyan you can change this in fact let me just cut this out we don't need any color let's keep it black okay so we have a paragraph we have word paragraph as a little bit bold compared to other things by using the b tag then we have our script which is loading the jquery library so jquery.js which is inside this js folder so pretty much something which we've been doing in the previous couple of videos just that the little bit html code is changed so in this video we are going to be taking a look at these four inbuilt methods which are used to perform dom manipulations the first one is text method html method attr that is attribute method and css method okay so let's see how you can manipulate the dom elements with these four different inbuilt methods so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to be we are going to try to access this text inside this paragraph using the text or html method so there is a slight variation between the two but pretty much both of them do the same thing so let's see how it works so inside the document dot ready what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the click method or click event for this button using the id btn1 of that button so i'm going to say dot click inside that i'm going to create anonymous function function and opening and closing round brackets of the function opening and closing curly braces of the function inside this let's first try to use the text method okay so i'm going to use the alert method i'm going to say alert inside that what i'm going to do is i'm going to say dollar so i'm going to use the selector and i'm going to select the paragraph okay so since there is only one single paragraph i can directly select the entire element if you have multiple paragraphs you can give an id so let's give it an id in fact i'm going to say id equals to p1 okay so here i'm going to say hash p1 of course in single or double quotes and now what i'm going to say is i'm going to say text okay so in the alert i'm just selecting this paragraph that is selecting this element with id p1 and only paragraph has this id p1 and you know that there is some text inside this paragraph so i'm using the text method to directly access it so let's see if this works i'm going to click on the button and there you go you can see we got the pop up this is third paragraph in second division which is what the text is even though it is not the third paragraph and not the second division this is just some random text but we got our text in the alert box okay so instead of alert what you could have done is you can also use a javascript variable i can say where txt is equal to use this entire thing right and then you can also alert it out to see if the text variable now holds the text value so let's see if this works if i click on action you can see it is working so this is getting the text which is already there on the screen or on the web page what if you want to change that text so in this case the same method is going to be used however here what happens is the text that you want to change has to be passed as an argument inside the text method so that's the only thing that is different compared to getting and setting so right now what we did is we we took the value which is already there in the paragraph so that is getting the value or getter method or get method basically and when you are setting something that is you are passing a new value you have to pass it as an argument so what i can do is here i don't need the lhs because we are not fetching the value we are setting new value right so i'm going to say dollar p1 i'm going to use the selector i'm going to call the same method text but now i'm going to say hello world and now if i click the button you can see the text got changed so i'm using the same method but in a different way because when i'm passing arguments it is acting as a setter method and when i'm using it without anything it is acting as a getter method okay so right now if i click nothing is going to happen because 
we need something to hold this text so we need a variable or you need a alert method to pop it up so that's why nothing is happening now in the same way the html method also works but the html is slightly different okay so let's see first what the text method is giving so you can see the entire text is given back now let's replace this text method with the html method so i'm going to say html over here and now if i click on action you can see along with the text we also got the html tag which was there inside the paragraph tag so anything inside this paragraph tag which is in html tag so let's say if i say i tag over here and if i pass this second inside okay so this becomes italic okay so now if i click on action you can see this i tag is also shown so this is the only difference between the html method and the text method so when you are using text method only the entire text is written back and any html inside that text is excluded but when you use the html method the html tags in the text are also being returned okay so that's the only difference so let's say i want to set this text and not pop it up so what i can do is i can say dollar p1 dot html inside this in double quotes i can pass this entire text and i can say this is first paragraph in first division okay so when i'm setting the text again if i want to pass some html elements or html tags in the text i have to use the html method so if i click on action you can see this is the first and then paragraph was bolded because we passed it as an argument and in the first division so this text is i made a mistake in the text so this again first text is in italic now if i would have changed this html to text what would have happened is if i click on action you can see the entire tag is also being put as a plain text in the paragraph right so we don't want that so make sure you know the difference between the html and the text method there is only a slight difference okay so now let's move on to the attr or attribute method now many times our tags in the html have some attributes so the attributes are these green values right so in this division you can see we have id attribute we have class attribute so let's say you want to know what is the value of this attribute okay so let's say in the p tag we have this id right so id is p1 so let's say there is one more attribute let's say i have given it a value of hello world okay so this is the attribute name and the value of that attribute is hello world right so i want to know the value of this attribute whose name is value okay so don't confuse this is the name and this is the actual value so what i can do is i can call the selector i can select this paragraph using the id selector and i can say attr inside this i will pass the name of the attribute so the name of the attribute is value so if i pass this hit semicolon and if i try to alert this out so let's say alert let's see what we get so there you go you can see we got the value of the attribute whose name is value in fact you know what since it sounds confusing let's change this to class p1 class okay so now i am passing this attribute class over here and the value of that class is p1 class right so when i click on action i am getting p1 class so the value of this attribute class is p1 class which is what is being printed over here so this is what this attribute method does if you want to fetch the attribute you can use this and lastly we have the css method so again css method is used to fetch the css of the html elements so again let me just copy this entire line comment it out and i'll paste it over here we have to use the css method now in css method we have to pass what exactly do you want to know about this p1 tag okay so this paragraph has some text in it right so let's say what you want to know the color of the text so i pass color over here if i click action you can see i am getting the rgb 000 which stands for black i can also say font family so the font family for the paragraph is going to be printed if i click action you can see times new roman is the font family similarly i can also ask for font size and it should be 14 pixel i guess 14 or 16 yeah 16 pixel right so this is how you can access the css styles of a particular element on the html so you can do this for division also so if i access this division i can ask for what is the border of this division 1 so we know the border is blue right so i'm asking for the border and if i click on action you can see it is 2 pixel solid and then we have the rgb 
color so this color corresponds to blue okay so that's how you can access the different css attributes or css styles of different html elements on the document so yeah this was jquery dom manipulations in a very basic way these four methods are quite widely used to access and set different things and perform jquery dom manipulations so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was and i'll see you guys in the next video peace